That thing may be slick. I don't know where you're all scary. familiar. You be careful. Life on Putnam County's Oklahoma River. You go, ahead, you go ahead and get in there, Roger. Lends itself to fishing trips. But for best friends Bob Lee and Roger Gunter, I went bass fishing with them more recently. This is only their second Whatever. trip together. Boss man, you ain't got no beer in here. <laughs> Lots to learn still. Damn, Roger. It's not even nothing yet. <laughs> Despite knowing each other for more than three decades. Believe it or not. That's great. <laughs> We've probably known each other since I got here in 77, so yeah. probably 35 years. Their lives flowed together when Bob moved to Putnam so, County uh, from Tampa. Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Florida cracker. I was Roger I was lived here his whole life. Naturally, I just took up fishing and hunting because we didn't have too much to eat back in them days. And my <laughs> he hunts and fishes every day. Both Still outdoorsmen, fishing. both able to bust each other's chops. Oh, yeah, so I catch more fish than he does. <laughs> yeah, and best no, friends. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. And you can come down that main river and, you, and you'll catch the limb of the bass, right? believe it or not. Oops. It's a really unlikely friendship considering Bob spent his career not trying to catch fish, but trying to catch Roger. Well, I don't chase him anymore and he doesn't run from me. You see, what brought Bob here back in 1977 was Florida Fish and Wildlife. I was uh, one uh, out of the six on a squad. Uh, our job was to quell the illegal commercial fishing. A game warden on a mission to catch the Putnam County poacher. And if you ask them who the most notorious poacher is, if they're an outdoorsman, they'll say Roger. It's been an exciting life, I'll guarantee you. There he goes. <laughs> And this fella come along and he made it a lot more <laughs> He made it a lot more exciting or for me anyway. Bob chased Roger through the winding creeks and tributaries off the St. Johns River for the better part of a decade. Yeah, well, we run right through a burnhouse boathouse, believe it or not. Hey, you, we didn't get killed. Right, you All right because right. of this machine Roger perfected. And this container here is a Western Electric five bar generator. He would use it to electrocute catfish, a process called monkey fishing. All the catfish will come up. I mean, if there's 10,000 of them down there, there'll be 10,000 catfish come up. These particular machines... Very illegal. Why, we had to come back to land just to see it. To have it on the boat, to possess it on the boat, even if it's not being used, is still illegal. It's illegal to possess any uh, electronic shocking device. Kind of so the chases began with Roger winning most. And I was doing a good job outrunning my damn motor blowed up. <laughs> At the time though, running wasn't a crime. So when Bob would pull up. Throw them overboard. That's the good thing. See, when you're out there in the water, if you if you see the man's gonna get you, just throw the damn machine overboard and ain't nothing they can do about it. Then. It went on like this for years. Roger getting away most of the time. I'm gonna take this rod down and lay it right here where but you will. Bob getting in his licks. How many times? Have you? You've been caught about a half a dozen times. By Both did it for their living. Wrote me citations. Both you know did it for a thrill. It's something you can drink good cold beer, you can work your rear end off, and you get the money for it. And when you chase somebody down this creek at three or four in the morning, now you've had an experience then. Boss man, when you said monkey fishing, I But now, to Bob's retired. Shake. And Roger just got tired of running. Warrants out for everybody, putting everybody in jail. It's so friends. so I quit right then. So with all his old fishing buddies locked up and Bob needing someone to enjoy the outdoors with. Yeah, he's very good. Everybody wants to go fishing with Roger. All right. This unnatural friendship eggs. They cool was like second nature. That's it. Done. Well, he was as dedicated as I was, so. Yeah, like two wrong. divergent streams in the Oklawaha River. That goes up and it forks, and then the other one forks. Their lives have finally converged again. But eventually it comes back into the main creek again. To a friendship that could survive just about anything. Just no reckless. <laughs> I'll try not to.